Hello, uh, welcome back to our uh, game development workshop. So today we're going to make a basic 2D platformer game. Um, so this is the game design document. Usually when we start making a game, we start with a game design document to lay out what uh, we're going to do for this project. So for our game, uh, the story, uh, it's going to be, uh, we have a main character who is very hungry and he or she must go through a level to look for food. And the basic game mechanics is a 2D platformer. Uh, you can go through the level by hopping across different platforms uh, and then avoid traps and obstacles. And you need to collect food to increase the score. For the graphics, um, for, we're going to start by using some uh, existing ads, asset from the internet. Um, and then we're going to draw our own later to customize them. And for the audio, uh, we're going to use this uh, Lishi SF maker. Uh, it's a sound effects generator. And we're also going to use a speech synthesizer. And then for programming, we're going to both program this thing in Construct 3. So this is the setup section. Uh, first, we need to get our game engine, which is Construct 3. You can access it, access, <laughs> access it um, clicking by clicking this link. Or you can go search for Construct 3 uh, on Google. And I uh, click on it. So this is the main screen it bring you to. So just click try it now. Uh, so it's free to use the online version. Click launch now. And then it will launch the construct editor. And we can make a game in the web browser. Um, so this should work in any device. So if you have a little thing that say like walk through, just exit, um, we don't need it. I'm gonna walk you through this. Um, so this is the construct three engine. Um, so if you click new project, we're going to give it a name. I'll just call it Explorers Platformer. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to select from here, uh, 720p landscape, this should be good enough. Uh, and then just click create. And then this will be the main screen. Okay, so we're going to go over this later. Um, now the second thing we need is our art. So we're going to use um, some online asset that's provided for free. Uh, this is called Pixel Adventure. So you just go and Google search for free sprite asset, and then it will the first one. We're going to click here, and then up in the search bar, we're going to search for Pixel Adventure. Um, oh yeah, but you can use any of the ones here. Um, but we're going to use this one for now because I tried it out and it looked pretty cute. Um, so yeah, so this pack uh, have contained a lot of different sprites that we can use to make our little platform game. Uh, and it's free, so that's a good thing. So just click download now. Uh, and then it will ask you like to name your price. Just click no thanks and just take me to download. Then you can get it for free. Uh, and click download here. And then there should be a pop-up. So we're going to just save it in desktop for now. Okay, so now it's in the desktop. Um, I'm going to go back to the desktop right here. Right click on the file and then just going to unzip it, okay? Like this. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, if you don't have 7-zip, that should be something called like extract file or something like that. Just just unzip the zip folder, okay? Um, and if you look in here, uh, so this is the folder, right click, view, and click extra large icon. You can see the different assets it's, that's in here. Um, so for example, for the main characters, we got a couple of options. So we got the mask dude. Um, so we have the uh, jumping animation, running animation, and all that good stuff in here. Uh, we also got a ninja fork, fork like this. Um, and then we also have some items here. Uh, for example, the fruit that fruits that we want to pick up. So all of that in here. Okay. So now the last thing we need. So we have the game engine. Uh, we have the art, now we need the audio. 
So we want to use this sound generator. Um, so you can either click on this link. Or I believe you can just type in Google and search for uh, Lishi SF Maker. Right here. And then this one is very easy to use. You just like, if you want a jumping sound, just click jump. And it will generate a random sound for you. So you can either mess with this to get your own custom sound or just click until it generate one that you want. And then you can click uh, save sound save wave uh, and then you can just save the sound and use it later so we can play with this later on okay uh, so that's very much it so for the setup remember to recap you need town shot 3 um, so make sure you get this make sure you download the pixel adventure pack right here and unzip it so you get all the arts asset and then also get this um, sound designer and I'll see you in the next tutorial and we'll get started.